Society tends to place us into two distinct categories, boy or girl. But tonight's WeHo Reads featured author, Jacob Tobaya, reminds us that life, like gender, is limitless. I'm Asha Rodriguez, and this is WeHo TV News. Hosted by the One Archives Foundation and Book Soup, tonight's WeHo Reads program spotlights Jacob Tobaya in conversation with Jesse Tyler Ferguson for a frank and poignant conversation about Tobaya's memoir, Sissy, a coming of gender story. And the whole point of this book, the whole point of this project is that feminine people and especially like male assigned, um, you know, feminine boys should not have to be ashamed of anything about their gender. None of us should have to be ashamed of our gender. And so I, I thought that by naming the book Sissy, it's a reclamation of a term um, that, that, was, that was an attempt to take my gender from me. The importance of Tobias' memoir was highlighted by Jesse Tyler Ferguson. I continue to be inspired by you. I continue to be, I continue to learn from you. I, I really thank you so much for this book. Um, I will reference it often. I have a lot of it underlined and highlighted and it's gonna be going to, out to a lot of my friends. The gender labels that society places on us can be destructive, whether we're aware of it or not. Can anyone experience gender-based trauma? As people, so much kind of like emotional archeology span to do. You know, we have a lot to unearth and a lot to dig up um, and, and a lot to really think through about what did happen to my gender as a child? What, what, when was I told that like boys don't cry? When was I told that pink was for girls? When, when did I get that message? And who was I before that message was given to me? For more information about Sissy or WeHo Reads, visit WeHo.org. Reporting from the City of West Hollywood's Council Chambers, I'm Asher Rodriguez for WeHo TV News.